Hi, welcome to the Exponent Express. I'm Matt Meyer, and here's your, your stories for today. The Purdue chapter of United Students Against Sweatshops achieved their goal of cutting university ties with Jansport, a company notorious for sweatshops and substandard backpacks. Violations have included factories that don't have fire escapes or fire extinguishers, factories at risk of collapsing, or workers living in areas where they make less than a living wage. In the past five to 10 years, there have been some pretty major factory disasters that have happened and that have caused worker deaths, said Dana Smith, a senior in the College of Health and Human Sciences and a lead organizer for the Students United Against Sweatshops. In Bangladesh in 2013, the Raina Plaza factory collapsed and over 1,000 workers lost their lives. Smith believes that Purdue's ties with companies should reflect the university's founding values, saying, for Purdue, our motto is, what we make moves the world forward. How are we moving the world forward if we're contracting with brands that oppress workers in other countries? Students living on campus now have the opportunity to have their concerns voiced to the West Lafayette City Council with the election of Republican Asim Jha. Jha, a sophomore in the College of Engineering, will now represent District 3, which is mostly made up of residences here on campus. Jha received 91 of the 187 votes cast, with Democrat Joel Jones receiving 50, and independent candidate Donnie Spencer coming in third with 46 votes. The final results of the elections will not be revealed until November 13th, though, due to a software error that led to 94 voters receiving the wrong ballots. This is the result of the city re redrawing the district lines, causing people to have ballots with the wrong candidates. Here are the results so far. Democrats Gerald Thomas and Dave Sanders and Republican Steve Dietrich lead the at-large elections. In District 4, Democrat Larry Laverins is beating Republican Thomas Andrew. In District 5, Republican Jerry Keene is leading Democrat Kathy Parker, and in District 6, Republican Norris Wang is beating Democrat Lois Howison. Joining me now is Councilman Ja. Councilman. Hello, sir. Hello. Would you care to say a few words to your constituents? Yes, uh, thank you so much, and I am very humbled by the fact that you took the time to come out, take time out of your busy schedule to come out and vote in this election. I appreciate your participation in civic affairs, and I hope that I can be worthy of your trust, and I hope that I can fulfill uh, the expectations that you have of me. Councilman, what does your election mean for the student body? Well, first and foremost, it means that the students have a voice in the city council who's mm -hmm. willing to advocate tirelessly for their interests, who's willing to look through every single one of the facts, all of the information presented, and use a data-driven approach in mm -hmm. order to create a sort of progressive ideology for the city, in order to implement change while still bearing in mind the financial constraints that exist. Because my underlying priority is increasing the growth of our city, uh, making sure it's adapted to the challenges of the modern world, uh, and making sure that we're making ourselves one of the best college towns that we possibly can be, uh, as well as a town where folks want to settle down after they graduate, where graduates want to start businesses, settle down with their families, and establish careers. And now that you are elected, what will be some of your priorities while on the council? All right, so first and foremost, uh, as uh, mentioned in the article uh, earlier, uh, I want to focus on the State Street redesign. I want to make sure that we're getting the best value for our money that we can, because these are taxpayer dollars that we're using on this project. And uh, although there's the TIF district financing mm -hmm. and that entire process, I still want to make sure that whatever city monies are being used uh, are being used in a responsible way and that we are getting the quality that we deserve. Uh, and that the State Street Project acts as a unifying feature on campus, not a dividing feature. Uh, and students aren't inhibited in any way from crossing State Street. Because currently, the way it stands is that State Street may act more as a divider than a unifier. And so if we can bring that more together, I want to make sure that happens. Uh, I want to also make sure that we maintain our fiscal restraint as we yeah. have so far. I want to make sure that we're spending and within our means. Uh, we're not overburdening the community with taxes. Uh, and Furthermore, attracting more businesses to make West Lafayette more diverse, make it more thriving, mm -hmm. uh, and make it a place where students want to come and they want to settle down and they want to live. Awesome. Councilman, once again, thank you for joining us tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, that's all we have for you now. Once again, this is the Exponent Express, and I'm Matt Meyer. Sing the blues, and it's too late to